Can you guys see my screen now? Cool. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, can everybody hear me and see the screen? Okay, great. sharing the wrong screen so I guess let me just bring this screen over here um, hold on. all right how about now can you see it all right this is good for everyone Okay, cool. Okay, so welcome to Mystic Training. Um, some of this stuff might be familiar to some of you guys already, but uh, um, just bear with me and we'll just go through the basics and then maybe into some stuff that you might not know about. And then if anybody has any questions at the end, um, just let me know. All right, so... When you first start Mystic, you're going to claim a cell in the Mystic tab. Um, right now, there's this cell up, so you're going to jump to that cell, which I already have up, but that's fine. Um, and you're just going to see this one cube here in the middle. So at this point, you want to claim the cell as player A. And you can write a note if you want, or you can just start playing. Um, so I claim the cell, and it should now show up as claimed by me in the, in the cell list. So after that, you're going to turn on Misty, um, and the cube is going to start growing at this point. Or it should be anyway. All right, here we go. Okay, so once the cube starts growing, um, you're just gonna let it grow out for a while. Misty's gonna start growing it, and. Um, You'll, you'll see these new cubes appear on the ends. That means that the cell is still growing. Um, so you want to just wait a few minutes until it's grown out a branch before you can continue on that. Um, some other things you can do over here is if you, for some reason, don't want this cell, you can release it. I really don't suggest that you guys do that unless like there's a problem or like you're going on vacation for a long time and really can't finish the cell. We really just want one player per cell um, in general. But if there is some reason that you can't finish it, you can release it and then another person can pick it up. And the other thing you can do is when you're finished, you can send it on to the next player by pressing the done button. And um, that means that you're completely finished with the cell, you think it's 100% correct, and it's ready to be played by the next player. Um, okay, so now that the cell's grown out a little bit, um, you can uh, start checking it. 
So to check it, you only want to check the cells or the cubes that have reached weight 3. If the cubes have not reached weight 3, you should not be looking at them at all. Um, basically, for Mystic, you're going to treat it very similar to doing scything in regular gameplay. Um, but the diff one difference in this one is that Misty is going to act in for the players. So normally three players would play a cube and the consensus would be what shows up and then you would check that as a scythe afterwards. In this case, Misty is going to stand in for all three players and she's going to play the cube and then you're going to be checking her work afterwards. Um, probably the one big difference is that with consensus you have three people so it's more likely to be correct and Misty is just one player and also an AI so um, you're probably going to be doing a lot more checking on these cells than you would even on iWire cells. So um, you can either just go along the branch and start completing or start inspecting cubes that are have reached weight 3 um, or you can change to the low weight map which will show you um, which cubes have reached weight 3 and which haven't. So you can see that uh, Misty just added this cube over here, but it's still, or the spawner just added this cube, but it hasn't been played by Misty, so you're not going to want to check that one, but you can check the rest of this branch. Um, so you also might, since we're not starting in a cell body for these cubes, a good thing to do as well is to use this highlight parents and children. So I can highlight the parents and see where the uh, where the seed for this cell was and then I can complete the parents towards that endpoint and then complete over here towards the parents for and then it'll end right here. So what I want to do is to go inside the cube, press inspect, and I'm just gonna look at this, um, scroll through, make sure that everything looks all right, so this one looks pretty good, um, so I don't need to change anything, and I'm just going to complete it towards the children. Um, one thing I do suggest you do is uh, experiment with this 3D detail here, because that's going to change what the cubes look like and also how fast your computer loads the, um, each cube. So if I put this on high um, and then I inspect the cube, you can see it's going to give you this very terraced um, effect. That's due partially because these uh, slices are a lot thicker than the iWire slices. Um, there's a lot more space in between them. So that's what's giving you this sort of staircasing effect. If you like this and you have good internet connection and a fast computer, then you know you're free to use it. Um, I personally like to use the um, uh, the low setting. Um, this will smooth out your uh, your segments, and it'll also make everything load a lot faster. Um, so you can try low, medium, high. I use the low. That's probably what I suggest for most people, especially people with older computers or slower internet connections. Um, but you can, you know, try out what works for you. Um, okay. So, so the other thing you're going to notice about uh, these cubes as compared to iWire cubes is that they have a bunch of different colored segments. Each segment is a different color um, as opposed to iWire where you're just getting the teal color for all of the non-seed segments. Uh, the seed here is still always going to be the blue color so that doesn't change. Um, and then what you can also do is use the misty slider over here and that's going to change your threshold um, on what misty is joining together. So if you put it all the way down towards the bottom it means she's joining basically everything and she has like anything she has basically zero confidence about she's going to join. 
So I guess that doesn't compute completely, but basically things are going to join in big segments and you're going to get a lot of merger stuff. Um, as you approach one, um, this is going to be just uh, every individual segment. Um, so that's going to be if you want to do a really careful job, if um, you're doing something where borders are not very clear, you want to go up way towards one so that you're putting as, you know, the smallest pieces together as possible so that you're not um, getting huge mergers and uh, making a big mess. But you can adjust the slider based on like what you think is going to be the most useful. Um, I tend to leave it around like seven-ish um, and then adjust it as needed. Um, I usually don't go any lower than about like four because that just tends to join too many things. Um, so you can adjust that. Uh, this piece also doesn't seem to need any addition, so that's fine. And I'm just going to complete towards the children again because I've already inspected those cubes. Um, and then you're just going to continue to complete along the branch in the same way. Um, so this one's a pretty straight straight so far, so I haven't needed uh, I haven't been needing to add any small pieces, but you're definitely going to need to add them at some point. Um, okay. So yeah, so that's sort of the basics of how to play. And then let's say that this was finished completely and I'm done with it. After that, I'm going to press this button. Um, that's going to throw this over to need player B and then it would end up in this list here and um, some a, a different player can come and claim it. Um, yeah, so as player B you're going to be doing a sort of slightly different thing than player A. When you're player B you're going to see the whole cell. Um, it's going to be complete and player A is going to have said this whole cell is complete and I think that nothing's missing and then player B is basically just going to be um, doing a, a double check to make sure that that there really is nothing missing um, and that everything's in place. So as player B like you know you might be inclined to just do a quick check, but like you're really going to want to do a thorough check as player B because anything that's missed by player A is probably going to be difficult to find. And uh, so you really want to be checking over um, a lot of the cubes just to make sure that there's nothing missing and there's no extensions. You want to be looking for places where it looks like there could be something missing and um, you need to add it or branches that are going in strange directions that seem like they shouldn't be there. Uh, that's the kind of thing you're going to want to be looking at as player B. Um, and once you're finished with player B, you just do the same thing. Um, you hit the done button and then that'll send it over to admins and the admins will do a final check on everything. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Okay, um, also one other thing is that um, you should only be on one cell at a time. You should not be opening multiple cells. Um, you shouldn't be on a player A cell and a player B cell at the same time. You should only be on one. Um, I also think it's a good idea for everyone to uh, alternate between being A and being B. This just gives, you know, it's the most fair way to do it and it also gives you experience doing each kind of role. Um, so try to do a player A cell and then a player B cell and then player A and player B 
you know, this might not always be possible if there's more cells in a particular status, but just in general, try to try to keep to that. Um, and, you know, once you've opened a cell, try and like, try and work on it and finish it as, you know, as soon as possible. Um, you know, we don't expect you guys to like finish it all in one sitting necessarily, but like if you're going to be working on these, we do like to be able to finish them up so we can move them on to the next player and um, get them completed. So, you know, if you're trying to work on one of these, uh, try and finish it up. If there's like something else going on, like a competition or something you want to participate in, that's fine. But um, in general, just try to finish them once you've opened them. And, you know, if you don't have time to really work on one, then maybe just play some regular eye wire for a while um, and wait till you do have time to really uh, commit to finishing one. Um, we also have this open task section. This is usually problem stuff. So, you know, this would jump me into a different cube and someone saying that this has a problem and I need to check it. Um, so yeah, uh, you probably, as player A or player B, you probably don't need to look at this too much, but it's there in case there's um, an issue and people can take a look and see if there's anything that they can help somebody else on. Um, okay, so... Okay, um, another thing I, th I think is helpful um, is to use this show me me function that shows you uh, where you have completed on the cell and it will, uh, it will cover over any um, size cube so it's easier to see where you've uh, finished completing. You don't necessarily need this as player A, but especially as player B, and I also use this as an admin, it's useful to uh, be able to s distinguish yourself from player A and show, like, and be able to see visually where you've been um, rather than what the other player has completed already, because you're probably going to be completing uh, the second purple color over the first purple color, because ideally the when A is finished, the entire cell is going to be purple, so you're going to be doing that. And I know that can be kind of like a visual uh, issue sometimes. So uh, using Show Me Me is really useful. Um, if you click it again, it goes to Show Me You, which there's nothing here right now, but that's whatever the diff another player has done. That's not going to be so useful to you, so um, you're probably just going to have to cycle uh, back through to this color and the other annoying thing about this is that it doesn't update as you go along so you're going to have to keep like once you've completed another cube you're going to have to click through it again to be able to see that cube um yeah all right um i think that's the basics does anybody have any questions about mystic or anything you've been wondering about you can just type to me in chat. Okay, guidelines for using the scouts log. Um, I'd say just make sure you're only doing one cell at a time um, and uh, try not to release the cells unless really necessary. Uh, did you have any specific questions about the scouts log? Yeah, so we are going to... Um, we're going to try and ask people to finish the cell within one week if, they, uh, if they've if they started it and after a week um, we're, we're probably going to start 
releasing cells that have just been sitting around. So, you know, seven days. If you can't finish a cell within seven days, it might get released to somebody else, and uh, they'll finish working on it. But, you know, hopefully that won't happen very often because we really like it. People can just finish them when they start them. Um, yeah, so Rinda's question, um, do you mean, do we just sort of cite in the same way as regular cells? Uh, I mean, the, diff the big difference between uh, mystic and regular cells is that um, the cell is going to be growing as you're, as you're checking it. Um, and also, like, as you can see on this one, Misty's stopped growing a lot of the ends, so you're going to be checking the ends of branches a lot. Um, so, uh, let's see if this one has any. Okay, so this one actually might just still be growing. But um, there's a lot of times when uh, Misty's just like looks at, like, is like, okay, I'm done with this branch, and it's not actually done. So you're going to need to check those a lot. Uh, as you said. Okay, test extensions. Um, yeah, I think that's all right to use for now. Um, we might want to try and tweak the system in the future to uh, get that to be a little better. Because I don't know if we want a bunch of open um, tasks or, or uh, yeah, if I don't know if we want a bunch of open entries in here. But for now, that's fine to use it like that. Um, so here's an example of something where Misty uh, didn't complete the branch all the way through the cube, so you're just going to add on the missing segment, press reap, and um, then keep going from there. Um, yeah, Brenda, you can't see the screen? Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, if you want to use your own sheet to keep track of extensions, that's fine too. Um, you know, whatever you whatever you want to do. Uh, okay, duplicates is a good question too. Um, we do have a lot of duplicate cells in these, um, so. So what's happening is that basically Ashwin, who's in charge of this project, is looking for synapses and then build, uh, building the cell out from there. So there's a lot of times where there might be a couple synapses and they end up belonging to the same cell. So that's why we end up with a lot of duplicates. Um, if you get a duplicate cube or a duplicate cell, um, just, I guess, just write a note about it in the scout slot that it's a duplicate, and then uh, just release it. And um, unfortunately, there's not a great way for us to record that stuff at the moment. That's something that we're going to try and fix in the future. But um, you shouldn't keep working on something that's, that ends up being a duplicate cell. So just make a note that it's a duplicate and uh, release it, or if you, okay, yeah, you can write a note when you release it. So just do that, and then we'll just know that um, that people shouldn't be working on it, and an admin will take care of it from there. Um, yeah, it'll show up as the as blue. It'll it'll be basically the same as as iWire, but you just need to check it to make sure that it's actually a duplicate cell. And because sometimes we do occasionally get stuff that's just like a duplicate segment like you would get an eye wire. So if it's just a little segment that's a duplicate, then you just fix it the way you would an eye wire. But if it's like the whole cube is a duplicate and you like jump to the other cell and it looks exactly the same as the cell you've been working on, then you know that the cell is a duplicate and you should treat it as such. Um, So Susie's question, um, unfortunately there's not, there doesn't seem to be a way to leave a comment right now, 
on stuff unless you've um, sent it to the next player. So every time you do an action, you can leave a comment, but unfortunately you cannot leave a note right now when you're in the middle of doing a sell. So I guess you should just write down whatever notes you have, and then when you're when you're ready to send it on to the next player, you can um, you can do so by by saying it's done, and then you can write a note and uh, submit it there. But unfortunately, you can't do that while you're in the middle of the cell at the moment. Um, and yeah, you can you can leave a note uh, just with a list of um, a list of the cube IDs where there was a problem. I would try not not to make the note too too long but just um you know if you want player a to check over stuff that they've done wrong then just leave a note saying which cube ids are uh have a problem and just uh and then you can send that um yeah so for Next question, um, that is a good question. I don't, have, <laughs> I don't have a complete answer for that right now. Let me check with Ashwin on whether you should remove everything or just leave it as is. I'm gonna say you should probably remove everything, but I might need to double check on that. Um, any other questions? So I put out a blog recently too about some common problems that you're gonna find on um, on these kinds of cells. So I would suggest you guys check over that to just like see what to do about um, particular problems. Let's see, oh, it's at the top, of course. Um, so okay, yeah. So this one's a good one. Uh, this is about cubes that don't extend. So sometimes you're gonna get this cube that just has a flat end against um, the side of the cube and it is, is not creating an extension. And this is, a, this is a problem specific to Mystic cubes. Um, and it's just that Misty hasn't done the full trace in a different cube. Um, so, you're going to want to find an adjacent cube and then add the extension from there. Um, so this video is pretty good and there's a little explanation uh, here to tell you how to do that. Sometimes you're going to get these uh, weird um, like funky looking stuff that is due to slides missing pieces at the end of the data set. Um, so for these, you just want to trace them out the best you can, and once you've done that, uh, just submit it, and that's all you can do with those. Um, if you can't complete the branch, it's fine. It's just like it, it's just how it is. Um, okay, another problem we have fairly commonly is uh, this unclickable two D problem where you're where you'll just get this whole section of uh, the 2D that's completely unclickable. You just like, you'll click on it and nothing will happen. Um, that you should report it as an error and uh, then just continue with the rest of the cell. Um, yeah, so those are the most common errors. There, This has happened a couple times too where there's this big weird looking like blob of segments all smashed together for some reason. Um, just report that as well. That shouldn't be too common. You shouldn't find that too often, but sometimes you'll find it. And then there's just some other problems that uh, you'll, just there's similar to iWire problems, so you should be able to um, just deal with them the way that you'll deal with, that you deal with the regular iWire problems. Uh, let's see.
Yeah, so if Misty gets stuck, like if the branch is just um, has stopped growing and it's, you want to check first if it's reached weight three. So if it hasn't reached weight three, if it's only at weight zero, that means that Misty has not grown the branch, so you shouldn't be looking at it. But if it says it's at weight three and it's stopped growing, that's like a cue for you to go into the cube and uh, check to make sure that it's actually finished. Like you can see here that it hasn't finished yet, so you're gonna uh, you're gonna add the missing stuff and then just hit reap, and then it should and then it should continue to grow out. But you're not gonna like you just want to do this one cube. You don't want to like reap grow the rest of the branch because Misty will continue it from there, and it will probably add a big section after that. You don't have to like continue to reap grow out that branch. Um, Uh, report it in the scouts log um, as an error. So, yeah, you want to, it should go under this section here. Um, yeah. Um, all right. Um, I... I'd say that um, that undercoloring is more of a problem than overcoloring in these cells. Sometimes you get really thin branches and uh, you need to uh, check the ends and make sure that there's not a nub that's like sort of way out in the ether that is unconnected but should be connected because sometimes the branches do get thin. And it's also just going to vary from cell to cell because, um, you know, like eyewire cells are not all the same. So you're just going to get some variation based on what kind of cell you have. Um, uh, yeah, for Christoph, um, don't trace the walls, just trace the uh, the middle part. The walls are myelin, apparently, uh, and we've decided not to trace that as part of the cell. So just trace the middle. If they have like a weird sort of covering over them, that's not part of the thing that you're going to be tracing. Um, okay, next question. Um, hmm. I'm not sure, uh, Nick, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Um, do you know what he said? That a cube may spawn without a seed. I don't know. I, I'm not sure if that's still an issue, uh, Nick, but if you come across that, um, you can, yeah, it might have been solved. If you come, if you still come across it, just send it to me and I'll look at it and then we'll like make a, make a note about it from there. It's more likely that a cube is not going to spawn because of the overlap problem. Right. Yeah. Um, Okay, cool. Uh, okay, um, another problem that, or another thing you, that you should watch out for is um, occasionally Misty will make a huge merger. Uh, this might be on a cell body, particularly will grow a huge merger carpet. Uh, if that starts to happen, you should just turn off Misty so that the cell doesn't continue to grow. It'll probably grow out a little bit because of, you know, it's of the lag for, for stopping it, but, um, but it'll stop it from continuing to grow a huge carpet. And, <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, maybe occasionally means often. Um, but anyway, you should turn off Misty uh, and just try to, um, you can, I mean, if you really want to, you could try and um, and freeze it by getting a friend to help you uh, complete over it until you can get it removed, or you can just um, 
you can just turn off Misty and try to remove it the best you can. And hopefully it won't get out of control uh, because then the spawner will slow down. But, um, but yeah, so if you're seeing a big merger start to form, just turn off Misty immediately and then deal with it. And um, try not to go away from your computer when Misty's on. So like if you need to step away from the computer for like a half hour or even, you know, 15 minutes or something, just turn Misty off while you're doing that and then turn Misty back on when you come back uh, just to make sure that nothing gets out of control. Um, so yeah, that's, that's an important thing to look out for. Um, yeah, anything else? Uh, Christoph, uh, nope, that's, that's correct. Um, if, uh, the, if there's an extension that just doesn't really extension, extend outside the cube, um, that's also in the FAQ. Uh, it's down here. Um, if it doesn't extend to the end of the cube, just add in sort of a surrogate, uh, segment and then that'll create a child and then once you get to the child you take out the surrogate and put in the real one and um, and then the, the cell will just continue well complete that cube as like you know finish the cube and then once you finish the cube just press uh, reap and then um, and then just you know wait for Misty to grow to keep growing it out uh, so yeah, it's, it's similar to what you would do in iWire in that situation. All right, any other questions? Oh, okay. I see what you're saying, Nick. Um, that's a good question. I'm not really sure. It should probably work the same as iWire. Um, I don't know. Somebody will have to do it and uh, report back, I guess. Um, so I guess just try, like, try and take it out and see if that works. And if it doesn't, then just leave something in that uh, hits the border and make sure it doesn't turn into a crazy merger. Um, so, yeah. Okay, any other questions from anyone else? Um, sorry, Nick, what, what do you mean by adding Glia? Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Um, yep, that's, that's true. If you add Glia, then it's probably not going to be a duplicate. Right, yes, that's true. Um, so yeah, I guess per next suggestion, try to add Glia as it. Uh, yeah, try to try to see if you can remove the bad segment and continue to, to grow it out um, in the new cube. You probably, I guess, you probably need, will need something that hits the. Well, actually, uh, let's see. Actually, I think that I think that you guys are right. I think that you need to leave the circuit in, unfortunately. So you can try experimenting with that, but you probably will need to leave it in.
Yeah, it's just one week for each player. So player A one week, player B one week. Uh, even though player B seems like it should take a shorter amount of time, uh, you really should, it probably will take a slightly shorter amount of time because you're not going to be adding as many things, but you should still be, like, giving it a thorough check because you're trying to find, like, stuff that's probably the hardest to find since it was missed by the first player, so you want to be giving it, like, a good check over to make sure that there's nothing missing. Um, so it's just one week for each player, uh, you know, if you can finish it in less time than that, that's preferable, a few days, but, uh, one week is the cutoff. Um, sure. Okay, uh, yeah, the Mystic Accuracy will be separate from regular Eyewire since, uh, we're checking different stuff. Um, yeah, do you know what the status is? Um, it's still okay, so that's still in development, um, but yeah, when we have that up and running, um, it'll be different from the regular stuff. And I think we're also going to try and split out player a, like your player A accuracy from your player B yeah, accuracy, because um, they'll, they should be a little different just because you're doing a slightly different task. Um, Uh, freeze option, we don't have it right now. I would love to have a freeze. Uh, I don't have a, a time frame on when we would be able to get that, but I also agree that you guys should have a freeze. Um, uh, freeze option would be something like where you can freeze the end of a branch so that, um, like if there's a merger happening, you could just freeze the merger and then delete it so that it doesn't keep growing out of control. Uh, it would basically be a freeze that would be below uh, an admin level freeze. So basically like an admin could freeze or like an admin can freeze a cube and an admin can unfreeze a mystic freeze. Uh, mystics wouldn't be able to unfreeze an admin freeze, but um, any mystic could unfreeze another mystics freeze. So that's how that would work. Um, yeah, yeah, I would love to get you guys a freeze, actually, but, you know, that's, that's one of the many things that we are uh, considering adding. Um, okay, big cells, should we split them? Most of these cells are not that big. I guess we have had a few big ones, but uh, in general, the uh, Z-fish cells are smaller than um, eyewire cells. But if you guys are uh, coming across anything that's like really becoming a problem with slowing slowing things down for you, um, you know, email us in and we can consider if we'll need freezes or uh, splits for those. Yeah. Oh right. Okay. So uh, Em just pointed out that um, we might not be able to split them because of uh, the way Misty grows stuff. So she might continue to grow stuff in two different places, and that could be problematic. Um, we might be able to fix that with just freezing the ends of branches, but um, that would be a, an extra obstacle to splitting these kinds of cells. Um, yeah, uh, Rinda, if you want to ask somebody to come help you um, to... Uh, use scythe complete to to lock a merger you can do that uh just once the merger is gone try to um uncomplete anything that's left over because it should just be one person uh completing on each cell so if you want to use that you can um if you want to just try and get rid of the merger by just turning off misty and deleting everything you can also do that so it's up to you and um you know, how, how fast the merger is spawning out of control. Yeah, I think that's the best option as well. Turn it off. Yeah, you can also try and take an intervention to just get rid of the whole thing. You can even go, like, way up 
like pass the merger and just like delete everything and then re re put the segments back in and just like watch it and make sure you don't get the merger coming back again. Any other questions from anybody? <laughs> sure. Um, it's like, did Dragon Turtle just come on? Uh, I think we're fit. We're almost finishing up here, but uh, just if you have any questions that you're dying to have answered, let me know. Like you can tell me now. <laughs> no questions. questions guys if you have any more questions just like message me in chat or message support either is good um yeah hopefully that covered everything if i think of anything else later i will let you guys know and i think that kfa is trying to record the audio for this so if you missed part of it or you missed a lot of it um that should be up at some point uh hopefully later today or tomorrow. Um, yeah, okay, thanks you guys. Thanks for coming and listening to me. And you can listen to me again later, I guess, when this is uh, posted up somewhere. Um, all right, I'll talk to you guys on the chat. All right, see you later.